Hello everybody, this is Lady Random, and today we are playing Ukiku. I think I pronounced that right. It's a Japanese first-person horror game inspired by the real-life Ukiku doll, which is said to grow its own hair and teeth. A famous doll named Ukiku was stolen from the temple by your uncle Haku, the owner of Saki Barn Restaurant. He believes the doll will help his failing business and bring more customers. Apparently, after bringing the doll to the restaurant, strange and horrifying events begin to occur. Haku is forced to temporarily close the restaurant. He then finds you, Minato, a young student with an interest in the mysteries and the paranormal. Haku tells you he will pay you if you can solve the mystery and calm the spirit of the doll down. You head out one evening on your scooter to begin your investigation. Will you solve the mystery or become another victim of the Okiku? Yo, so, the link to the game will be down in the description. It looks really good. As usual, if you like my stuff, and give me a thumbs up, share, and if you're not subbed, I'd really appreciate if you would sub. And with that said, let's get started. Oh, I like this. Ah, there goes Creepy Doll. Bye, Creepy Doll. Okay, I like the starting menu. Let's go. And, oh, Okiku does not like visitors. Uh-oh. And you can't see it down here, but there's a little, the little loading thing. Looks like the ring from the ring. The Japanese war movie. Okay. Minato, I'm finally, I'm here. I think my Uncle Haku left a spare key to the front door near a Buddha statue outside. Okay. Wow, oh, this is dark. New objective. Find front door. Spare key to enter Sake Bar and Restaurant. Okay, that is a dragon. That is not a... There's a scooter. That is a vase. It's down here. Scooter is very dark. Um. Okay. Nothing. Over there. Alright. Uncle, you left your van here. Oh, I got stuck. Oops. Door to leave, I'm assuming. Oh, it is so dark. dark. Press tab to view carried items. I don't have any carried items. Sake bar. Ah, there's the Buddha statue. Hey, a bug. No, Mr. Bug. Can I have the key you have, please? Front door key. Pick. Good, it didn't bug me. That is an ugly bug, by the way. Oh, this night sky is pretty. Alright, let's go into the creepy restaurant. You can hide under tables. Oh boy. Whenever there's hide in a game, I get like, <gasps> what's gonna get me? I need to hide. This. Use. No, thank you. Shut up. Um. Okiku lore page one. A young man purchased a doll that would later on claim the name of Okiku as her own for his two year old sister. The doll was bought in Sapporo by a 17-year-old for his two-year-old sister, Okiku. He was touring the region for a maritime exhibition, and the doll instantly drew his eyes. The perfect little thing sat on a shop window enticing him. He didn't think twice. He went in and instantly purchased the figurine for his sister, and even used the last of his money for it. At about 40 centimeters tall and dressed in a traditional kimono, the doll was exquisite. Its hair was raven black and cut to roughly shoulder length in a traditional Okapa hairstyle. The eyes like piercing coals that seemed to swallow everything up in their gaze. The doll was mesmerizing and enticing, or enchanting, something that took your breath away. He went back home and gave the doll to his little sister. The sister fell in love with the doll immediately. It transformed into Okiku's favorite toy, and more importantly, her best friend. Okiku played every day with the doll, took it everywhere, and treated the figurine like a little sister. She would talk and prattle with the thing, feed it, sleep with it. She decided to call the doll Okiku, a mere duplicate of herself. The doll never left Okiku's sight. Okay, what do we got here? <clears throat> Some pictures. Uncle, picture of Haku, the owner of Sake Barn Restaurant. Minato, I am very thankful Haku chose me to investigate this place. Uh, Haku is actually my uncle, which is why he chose me for the job. He knows I love mysteries and the paranormal, and I know the dangers of doing the job. Or maybe he just saw you as free labor. He says he's going to pay you, but I bet he told him. Considering he stole the doll in the first place. Picture of Haku's wife, Yua, helping out in the restaurant and serving cups. Okay. Anything here? Nothing here. All right. What the heck? Minana, you know, what was that? Some kind of paranormal investigate? I can get all the information I can find on Okiku. 
Okay. Well, I guess I don't have to hide. It didn't s go after me. The Japanese picture from Haku when he was trip in Japan. Koi fish. Picture of Haku's koi fish from his tea garden at his house. Oku, Okiku lore, page two. Then a year later, tragedy stuck. The little girl who owned the Okiku doll died. Yellow fever had descended on the land and robbed the family of their little girl. The little girl died gasping for air in pain and afraid, while the doll was held firmly in her grasp. She was only seven years old. The family wanted to bury the doll along with Okiku, but circumstances and governmental oversight prevented this last act of help or kindness on their part. The doll was never laid to rest with Okiku and instead was brought to an ancient temple. Well, that might be one of the dolls like haunting people. Um, hi, creepy. New objective, play hide and seek with creepy. Okay. Well. Our Japanese... Iray sake. A bottle. Cute little container. Sake container. That's a nice picture. You know, this is a pretty nice restaurant. Uncle, I don't see why Uncle was doing too badly for himself. Maybe he's just a horrible person. Ew. That pixel filter. Like, everything is crisp and clear up close. But in the back, it's like all pixelated. That's really creepy. Or here. Need bar area key. This. Why is it all foggy? To a jukebox. Yeah. Hey, that's some nice music there. I like how I just like pick the jukebox up and just rotate it and look at it. That's great. Let's see, it's in the bathroom. It's the bathroom. Etiquette rules to follow in Japanese restaurants. No shoes on the tatami. Rush chopsticks on the holder, wrapper, side of tray. Don't mix wasabi into your soy sauce. I've seen that done. Is that, like, not supposed to be a thing? Uh, use the pickled ginger as a palate cleanser. Place chopsticks parallel to the plate at the end of your meal. Uh, fill guest glasses before your own. Slurping is a compliment. Never use your hand to catch falling food. Don't hover over or leave food while you've, when you've touched it with your chopsticks. To all employees of our customers and weave all these rules, Saki Bar and Restaurant shall have great success. Haku, owner of Saki Bar and Restaurant. Okay, I'm not sure about all of those rules. I know some of them are definitely important etiquette in Japan. Alright, creepy doll, where are you? Oh, hey, buddy. Hi. Uh, we're gonna play. So what are you gonna do? Teleport to all the tables then we gotta find you? Oh, look, she's sitting in the booth. Here you go. Here's a close-up of the freaky little thing. Hi! Creepy, where'd you go? Creepy? Creepy, creepy, creepy. Where are you, creepy little... Ugly, creepy little doll. Alright. Oh, this is just a reflection. I legit thought this, uh, whatever this is right here. This thing, the reflection, I thought it was like, glowing red eyes. Um, creepy doll, creepy doll, where are you? Oh, there she is. Look at, look at her. Look at her obviously standing in the light. Come here, you creepy little thing. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> that make a good thumbnail. Creepy. He's, whoa, look at this. She follows you. Look at her. He turns and follows you. Look at this. Ah. Come here. Okay, where'd she go? Whoa, I thought that was a person. In the bathroom. Did she go in the bathroom? No. Where is she? Creepy. Are you on one of the tables again? I mean, I'm on one of the tables, right? Because I'm not seeing her. Oh, there she is. Hey, creepy. Here's a better look at her. Oh, her hair is definitely all like, ugh. Alright, so. Oh, there she is again. 
Are we friends yet? Or are you gonna keep running away because you're shy? Oh, she's back there. Okay. So this time. I'm gonna start calling. I should start calling her a creepu. <laughs> a creepu. Oh, that's like the dumbest joke ever. A creepu. Uh oh. Looks like a creepu had the runs. Okay, where'd she go this time? Uh oh. Hi! She's on top of the register, being even creepier. Uh oh. Well, Kiku's angry at me, but I won't give up this investigation. I'll just have to the box to get the lights out again. Ah! Hi! Hi! <laughs> and you have to turn the lights on! Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's making some kind of weird baby doll out. All right. <laughs> Not remember seeing a box, power box. Well, I'm guessing if there is one, it's over here. I'm pretty sure this wall was empty though. Oh look, how convenient! There is a power box switch. All right. Okay, lights are back on. Yeah! What the heck are you? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Oh, she's gonna get stuck again. Uh. Baby doll. Look, she's just staring right there. You can hear little girl scream. She's gonna try to get me. Yeah! New objective. Okay, we need to get away from her. Investigate uh, tea rooms and avoid Okiku. Oh, I can hide? Okay. Whoa, I'm locked in. Did I get... Wait, what? Are you guys moving? Are you moving? Oh my gosh, look! He's following me! Look at how cute he is! Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Look at him, they're so cute! The little dolls are adorable. They just got their own little movement. <laughs> Aww. Can't interact with them. Um, Aww, look at how cute he is. Hi. box. Oh, look! There's a lock. Okay. I wonder what the code is. Oops. Okay. Seven. One. Three. Okay. Open the box. Oh, key. That must be the key for that back door. Oops. Didn't mean to put that away. Mm. Okay, take the key, put that away. Oh, look, the bars are mysteriously gone. Ah! What the heck are you? You'll go away. Okay, she's going away. Bye-bye, creepy. Okay, I think there was one more room I had to go in before I used the key. Can I, like... Yeah, there's one more room I want to go in, but she's kind of in the way. I'm pretty sure the key I have... Probably wipes me on fire. Go away, doll. Go away so I can stop Lee sneak into the room. Okay, 
your dress got blood on the bottom of it? No. Yeah, I think it does. I'm just creeping me out here. I'm wondering if that room has a hiding spot in it. I'm not here. I'm not here. Go away. Alright. Okay, so. Now there is a hiding spot. Can I interact with anything besides the jukebox? Well, I'm assuming I can interact with it. You can't interact with it. Oh, look at how cute. Hi, buddy. You're so adorable. Look at how cute you are. Okay, so you don't do anything with it. And apparently, she didn't hear me turn it on. Bonus. <laughs> okay, she totally heard me. <laughs> okay, let's get this door open. Oh, she's gone. No, she's not. She just didn't see. I see you, creepy. Go away. Look at this. What is that her face? I. I. Okay, um. New objective. Locate Okiku's shrine and learn her past. Okay. Alright, these are just some dragon statues. Uh, a bunch of tables to hide under. Interact with any of this stuff. Aw, look at him. Oh, he wants a hug! Hey, buddy! Go get him! Look how cute he's like just sitting there rocking. You better not rock too hard. You're gonna fall off the table. Okay, um. Let's just. Um. Ah! Ball! Stupid. Whatever you were. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. All right. Okay. Oh, hey, creepy. Must be your shrine. I want to read those. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. She's gone. I thought I was going to have to hide, but I guess she's gone. Oh, look. There's more of the creepy little dudes on the table. Hey, guys. Can I hide? You going to stare at me still? They're like, hi! Oh, he still wants a hug! Yeah. Poor buddy. He wants to be so lonely. Alright. Go read those documents or whatever. See what they. I don't want to crouch. Alright. Okay. Um. Okiku lore, page three. Okiku the doll was first moved to the family's altar. Common practice in certain Japanese households to commemorate the dead, the small shrine celebrated their daughter and marked her passing into the afterlife. That's when the strange events started to occur. One day the family started to notice that the doll's hair was getting longer. Once the traditional solely cut with neat ends, now a mangled mess of split ends reaching down past her waist. Yeah, I did say her hair looked really bad. It was scruffy, different colors, and felt different. At night they started to dream of Okiku, and sometimes that doll would appear by their side come morning. Seriously, doll, nobody wants to have dreams about you. Chilling events intensified and grew into full-blown acts of spiritual infestation. Lights flickering on and off, bangings in the house, noises, and strange voices. Things being set on fire. Well, the things being set on fire makes sense, because her freaking rear end is on fire. And even Okiku duplicating herself and showing up multiple places. Yeah, because we totally want that. More than one of the creepy doll. The closer the year got to certain key dates, Okiku's birthday and the date of her, day of her death. Okay, so... Uh, the more, the closer it got to those dates, the more the activity kind of sparked up. Over time, there were certain, they were certain in town, shamans, spiritual leaders concurred that the do their daughter's soul was in fact trapped within the doll. That's not good. Alright. Okiku lore, page four. Many years later, the family relocated to a different district. They had by now become accustomed to Okiku and had even grown fond of their daughter's restless spirit. To them, it was a magical and unique opportunity to interact with the dead. Not desiring to take Okiku with them, fearing that when what fueled her magic was the proximity to their daughter's grave, the family approached the local temple and asked them to take care of the doll. The temple by now had heard countless stories of the amazing doll, the haunted doll whose hair grew every year. They were fascinated. The priest accepted the charge and started taking care of Okiku. 
Over time, they managed to confirm the veracity of some of the claims, particularly that the hair does indeed grow. The, sci the, priest, I said <laughs> the priest even set out cut samples of the hair for scientific analysis. Scientific examination of Okiku proved that the hair was that of a human child. Okay, so I guess her spirit is trapped in a doll. That's kind of creepy. Uh, regularly, the hair gets a trim, and the doll stays happy and content. As the years passed on, the doll's fame grew, and her powers further developed. She's bolder now, invading the dreams of her pre of the priests and those that come to visit her. She's stronger, her hair growing faster and wilder. The last event driving tourists mad is the frightening claim that the mouth of Okiku is slowly opening, and that if you dare to peer inside, you might be able to glimpse something like baby teeth sprouting like weeds and porcelain gums. Ugh. That's not a pleasant sight. Can I say anything else around here? Um, I don't see anything. Creepy radio. Oh, okay, let's get on. Wait, can I out here and things? There we go. Yes, I know, you still want to hug. Okay, so now what? Is that her shrine? Is that it? What now? I go back? Oh. Dude, everything's on fire. New objective, escape Saki Bar and Restaurant. Okay. Ah! Hey! Yeah! Bye! Hey, you don't want me friends? Look at look, she's not chasing me anymore. Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at we got a close up over. Hi, huh, buddy. Look at her. <laughs> she, she apparently doesn't want to attack me anymore. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, here I'll even close the door for you. Bye, doll. All right, so scooter. Can I the scooter? Did you just leave? Oh, open. Uh, what? What? No, I don't know. I don't want to go that way. Bye! Bye! <sighs> I guess we don't have a choice. <gasps> okay. That is very loud. Okiku. The protective Onryo of Okiku's mom brought Minato, Minato into the spirit room forever. The doll of Kiku and her spirit, as well as the little girl's spirit who she protects, has returned to the temple with her rival owners. Your uncle Haku lost his restaurant and bar to fires, and police are still searching for Minato. It's as if Minato has vanished into thin air at the night of the investigation. The end. Wow, that was really cool. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I really, really liked it. That was awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>